Okay, YouTube land. Something I'm going to show you, and you all tell me in the comments, yay or nay. I think it looks cool, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it. In front of my truck. This little piece right here is the filler panel that goes between the bumper and the grill on an early square body. S10. There's a little 2.8. Now, I trimmed part of the mounts off and thought about putting it under the bumper kind of like a spoiler chin spoiler whatever you want to call it then take another one that I have and cut this part out come around here weld it add it into this so I can bring this back and kind of taper it into the fender I just think it looks kind of cool it's something different if you want to do it go for it I don't care if you steal the idea, the more the merrier. But rather than the little plastic piece that hangs down, I just wanted to do something different. And being the fact that stuff here is backyard built, redneck engineering, whatever you want to call it, you use what you have. Let me back away from it. Give you a little bit better. A little center parts open for airflow, but I just thought it looked kind of cool. Just something I've been thought about one day out here. And like I said, I can cut the. I got a couple more of them. I can cut a piece out of that straight part and give me more than enough to add on to the in the same contour over here and go back and taper it into the fender so but, yeah, I'm keeping the truck as much as the truck as I can all these arguments about all these different types of vehicles when you do this and do that it ain't street well this one's gonna have everything steel but the damn hood carpet all the dash except for one little piece I don't give a shit what it weighs if it's heavy we just make more power to compensate for it you know so but, and I put a load on them springs a while ago and they're in the same amount of gap I've got when I had a four inch block in there so that'll be that's gonna work out all right Something else we're going to do, no more silicone elbows. I'm going to take this over to a shop, and they're going to take and cut this back and weld these belted aluminum dash 16 fittings onto there so I don't have this big goober elbow sticking out there. Then I can just put a 90 on it and a 90 on it and be done, and it looks better. You know. So that or just put the radiator back up front and I don't want it up there that's just weight and heat out of the engine bay so but it's gonna stay back here but we're gonna do that to get rid of that ugly ass elbows don't get me wrong those are nice silicone elbows I cut that one try to shorten it but with all that hanging out there on both sides, you know. Looks like a big old horse dong hanging out there and I didn't like it, so. We're going to have those cut down. And if you, these things are like a quarter inch thick. Is that other one still over there on the bench? No. Or is it? Uh, it's probably in my coat pocket. Let's see here. <laughs> Yep, I feel it. All right, these things are like a quarter inch or better. I'll count the bump. You take that away, about a quarter inch or so ish thick. Well, if you were to cut that back and get rid of the hose, uh, the bump for the hose so it don't pull off, and cut this one off, and if you went in there and kind of took a 
Dremel or a deburring bit and kind of opened that up a little, a little bit. That would slide over that. Or come damn close to it where you could slide it up on there at least enough to weld that around there and we'll have a local shop uh, so they can tick weld those on there for me i mean that piece is a piece of billet aluminum they're nice they're made by mazir and then of course this right here but see that's kind of thin so that would have to be tig weld I don't want to tramp. I wouldn't attempt it, or they said they wouldn't attempt it at the one shop with a pound gun, which I wouldn't either. But yeah, and we'll put that on there like that, except it'll actually be back a little more to like that. Put a 90 on it, dash 1690, run them over through the floor and done. It looks better than what I had on there that everyone's seen in the previous videos. So, be a much better setup. So, and they should be able to weld that without that getting in here and fucking these tubes up. So, it ain't like they're soldered. They're actually welded. So, it ain't like a copper radiator where the slightest little bit of heat knocks the solder out of the damn tubes. So, but. Plenty of clearance up front if it sets too much of a rake I'll put a two inch drop spindle in the front of it I'm not fucking with the springs I'm not gonna mess with the springs at all so where's the tape measure I bet there's every bit of seven inches there I'm gonna tie to the yeah, seven and a quarter the top of the tire and that's a 235 75 15 that's a big tire so and that's with a stock 2.2 spring in the front end of it and aluminum headed big block and a turbo 400 sitting in it so by the time you add the turbos well there's all the weight that you gain from the aluminum heads right back on it so a 16 pound intercooler Well, yeah, put in the comments, I ain't said I'm going to do it, it's filthy as shit too, but I ain't said I'm going to do it yet, but I think it looks kind of cool. So, sucky thing is, it's already painted clear coated, and if I weld to it, I'm going to fuck it all up when you do it again. Oh, uh, well. And yes, I'm going to leave the 2.8 emblem on there, I've left it on there from day one, I think I'm going to leave it on there. It's just a 2.8. It's just a 6. I get dude's YouTube channel. It's just a 6. That is a nice grill. I still can't get over how good the chrome is on it. For me. You know, most of them you see there's like wrinkling in the corners or around the edges. You know, that's all been laminated or whatever they do to do that. That is nice. When the U.S. Auto Parts that sent that, mm -hmm. yeah, U.S. Auto Parts, somebody over there must know or something because it just showed up. Somehow they got my email, they emailed me, say, hey, we're going to send you this, and they sent me a damn grill. So, in case anybody doesn't know it, your lights out of your three-piece grill will fit in here. You don't have to buy new ones for these grills. It'll fit right in there. Chevrolet kind of used her head on these trucks and made a lot of the stuff interchange. Like I've said in the past, this body's a 90. Well, a 90, a 91, and an 87. All three trucks give up parts to get a rust-free body. And it's sitting on a 98 chassis. That's why I had to weld the front bumper brackets on because they're different. And then the cross member is a little different for the transmission other than that's the same frame other than they box it back part they're just a stouter chassis than the gen one 
So, the only thing we got left is the rear end before I can put it on the ground and get the anti roll bar. Once the rear end's in, get it in, get it all done and hooked up. We'll put some tires and wheels on it, and it's a roller. So, this shit is just sitting there and I can't move it. I have to put it on a little old fucking recycled milk crate dolly with a 6x6 six six under it. But, it's getting there. It's getting there. My main thing is I can't weld aluminum, I can't weld stainless, I suck. I can burn steel together like it's going out of style, but that's all I've ever had to do, so that's all I ever learned to do. And I can make weld sheet metal and everything else. I've learned to make do with what I got, but I can't TIG. And I got a TIG welder and I can't use it for shit. I use it on the arc welder side, the stick weld. So... But, and I don't have the patience to learn it. I'm not going to mess with it. I don't, I don't take weld enough to need to know how. So, I'll make weld patch panels in the body like nobody's business, but forget that TIG weld and shit. Anyhow, let me know what you think on the uh, Valance, a.k.a. recycled into spoiler on the bottom. I like it. Run it for a while, and if I get tired of looking at it, I can always take it off. But let me know in the comments. <coughs> Later.